Hi, good to YouTube. I'm Max, and today I want to do kind of a different video here. I want to do a little discussion or, uh, yeah, explaining of um, something I filmed a few months ago, which was an OTS 14 and OTS 17, I think, opening. Um, I bought four boxes of OTS booster packs from uh, another guy that, uh, yeah, I didn't know, but um, I drove around like two and a half hours to meet him um, and he had sealed boxes supposedly of uh, OTS 17, 16 and 14. I bought them and uh, yeah, then I drove home and uh, when I opened two of them actually, uh, I opened two boxes, I pulled no ultimate rares whatsoever. Um, of course I was pissed, as you can see in the videos I'm uh, trying to link down below. And um, I want to tell you what happened after that. So, um, of course, I brought uh, the matter up to the police. And uh, that that officer, I don't know what uh, Kommissar <laughs> means in English, but I think uh, it's fair to translate it with officer. Um, he had a lot of questions and he said right from the beginning, uh, I don't think um, you have a chance to get your stuff back because you gave a random stranger <laughs> Uh, yeah, a lot of money for trading cards and uh, you even had the product in your hand before you bought it. Um, so yeah, that wouldn't work out. Um, he had lots of questions about uh, yeah ratios and uh, the distribution of cards and all of that. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, oh, capsules, nice. Um, I was uh, I was told that I would not have a great chance to get my stuff back. Um, I tried, um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> and uh, after like, uh, yeah, a few months um, and a lot of communication via email, um, he finally called me and said that uh, they found someone that matched my description. Um, oh, Zoa is a good comment. Um, and that the guy said he did not tamper with the packs uh, and stuff, but uh, that I should try to solve the matter with him. So um, I called him um, after I got his number, because uh, I didn't have that. Oh, Book of Moon, nice. I didn't have that um, when we were uh, phoning before I bought the cards. Um, he didn't show his number. Um, yeah, and I just realized that after I drove home, so, um, yeah, uh, we spoke, um, he said he didn't do anything, but um, yeah, he pitied me for the situation I was in, <laughs> at least he said so, and uh, after some communication uh, back and forth, uh, we agreed that I would send all the cards, and uh, some of the packs and uh, boxes were still sealed, because I just opened two, not four, I would send all of the cards back, and uh, he would refund me the money. That took a while, but it uh, did work out. Um, so I just, yeah, just lost some money. Oh, oh, Force of the Breaker gives me another riser and super rare. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> for interrupting, but I thought uh, just opening, uh, uh, no, no, just talking would be boring. So I decided to open some packs. But uh, yeah, um, he refunded me the money. I sent all the cards uh, and the two sealed boxes and some sealed packs uh, that I had left over, I sent them back. And uh, yeah, that's like the story of my OTS scam experience. I don't know if he really didn't do anything or uh, if he was surprised that uh, the police got a hold of him. Um, yeah, or uh, if he got scammed himself. Um, with those boxes, which would suck for him, of course, but uh, it did also suck for me, so um, yeah. Um, but luckily um, I got my stuff back. Of course I wasted like one day of driving around um, and of course fuel, uh, but it wasn't... What? Uh, hello? <laughs> I think I can only pull Riser out of Force of the Breaker because I did already pull one in another opening, and now two in a row. Um, I think I uh, I have to play Monarchs now. Yeah, but... Oh. 
that sleeve looks kind of weird. Um, yeah, luckily for me, um, I just uh, left with a blue eye, as you say in German. Um, ich bin mit einem blauen Auge davon gekommen. Um, but uh, another thing I want to mention is that um, I found a video here on YouTube, which helped me quite a lot in that um, in all that communication I had with that police guy because he asked me, yeah, well, um, if you can't uh, if you can't search the packs via scaling, because I told him that wouldn't work with OTS packs because all of them have foils, um, how could someone do that and do that to uh, oh Spirit Reaper to get the packs with ultimate rares and uh, not the other cards? And uh, there was a video here. I will uh, try to find it and uh, link it down below as well. Um, that you can actually oh, baby dragon. Um, you can see when you shove the cards up in the pack and like if this one was uh, the only card that was shoved uh, to the top you can um, yeah press some aluminium foil over it and uh, then you can see the name of the card it's uh, working for cards with just um, holographic holographic letters so ultra rares, secret rares, ghost rares, ultimate rares and uh, regular rares for super rares it doesn't doesn't work because they have no holographic letters but uh, yeah just um, yeah want to say that this video helped me quite a bit in that matter and uh, feel free to check it out not to uh, do any shenanigans yourselves but to be aware of what people can do to yeah to scam you okay that didn't take as long as I expected it because I usually tend to talk a little more than I'm supposed to. <laughs> but uh, there are three packs left. Another Zoa, that's one of the best commons in here. A Wolf, yay. Deal with Dark Ruler. Uh, Book of Life. Super Rejuve. And oh, cool, MST. Nice looking secret rare, even though it has like... Oh, Mudo Ombra. Do I, do I even have this? Um, MST has like a gazillion of printings, um, as has Book of Moon, which I pulled as well. But why not? It's a cool card. You can play it in uh, almost every format. Of course, uh, nowadays there are better cards, like Twin Twisters, for example, who give you more removal and even some, uh, yeah, some graveyard setup if you need it, and you have, and if you have the right cards in your hand. But the big question now is. Will I pull a third riser? That would be crazy. I don't think I will, but it's possible in theory. Mass hypnosis and... You gotta be fucking kidding me. What? <laughs> ah, if I didn't film this, no one would believe it. Ah, I pulled two super rares and then an ultimate rare of the same card. And I mean, Riser Ultimate is. I don't know if there's uh, a better card in here. Um, okay. And I even I even said like, nah, nah, I won't. But okay. That has to be like my craziest thing that happened when I pulled cards out of packs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, there I go. Super rare, super rare, ultimate rare. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Now I don't, I don't think I can even name this video like um, aftermath of my UBO OTS scam thing because this is way crazier. Um, what can I say? <laughs> uh, thank you for showing up, all three of you. Nice. Um, as always. Uh, if you think this is as crazy as I think it is, uh, feel free to spread it around. I usually don't ask for yeah, sharing or uh, distributing my content, but um, have you ever th uh, seen something like this? Um, feel free to let others know and uh, as always, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!